everyone. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on a spray painting project that I'm doing. This is just an old canvas. I've already painted on it a couple of times. This is kind of like a practice canvas that I have. I took three different colors of spray paint. I'll show you my mix, today's mix. I used a um, an Island Splash Blue, like it says, uh, it's by Krylon, and there's that. And then I also used by Krylon the ultimate coverage of Iris Satin, which is the blue, the darkest blue. And then I also used like this mint color. This is one of my favorite colors. It's called Sea Glass, and that's really pretty too. These are all Krylon spray paints that I got at Walmart. And I went ahead and sprayed this canvas, and I oversprayed in some spots so it would kind of gather, and it looks kind of cloudy and misty, and there's some spots on it and stuff, because this is just going to be a background. And then I'm going to show you what uh, Dawn dishwashing soap can do, the gel form, and the painting. Okay, so once that's dry, and it's been out here drying for a while, I just take my Dawn dishwashing soap and I kind of do whatever designs I want. I like little broken hearts and stars and I just kind of just go like that and get this soap all over the place. And it has a little resistance to it and I kind of splash it around and it'll be fun. And then the soap actually will need to sit for a minute because it does move and you want it to go ahead and flatten out as much as it would. Let's see if I can get that last little bit out of there. I'm creating bubbles now. Okay. Now, I'm going to let that spread for about five minutes. And then I'm going to record the rest. Hang on, everybody. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone. I've waited about eight minutes. And I wanted to explain what I did. I was waiting eight minutes, but before the eight minutes started, I broke up the bubbles that were on there with this uh, Ultra Duster. I just went like that and got rid of the bubbles because there were a few soapy bubbles. The other thing I wanted to tell you is that when you do spray painting, you need to wear a mask and you have to wear a mask. It's, you got to protect your lungs and not the kind of mask that you would wear like um, if you went to the hospital and or emergency room or something, somebody was coughing or the doctor's office, whatever. Not those kind of masks, but a respirator mask like this. Because those other little masks aren't going to help you at all. You have to wear one of these. So I'm going to put this on and I won't be able to talk while I'm explaining what I'm doing. So I'm going to explain it now. I'm going to put the mask on and then I'm going to paint this uh, black paint all over the painting to cover up it, to cover it completely. And then when that starts to dry, when it's a little tacky, you want it to dry a little bit, but not all the way, you want to wash that off. And I'll be able to take the mask off and show you what I'm talking about then. Okay, everyone, hang on. Let's put this mask on and let's get started. Okay. So I'm trying to hurry and get the mask on, so I kind of was just getting the hook in there. I can't get it in right because I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> I probably sound like an alien. Okay. All right. Now, you shake the paints really good. Oh, you shake it, shake it. All right. And the best way when you spray paint, if you can hear me... <laughs> I always uh, go off the painting all the way across. Don't stop midstream because it makes it really uh, gloppy. Okay. Kind of Jackson Pollocky. <laughs> I'll give two coats on top like this of the light spray and then I'm going to go around and get the edges.
You can see I got a hair in there right there, but I could pick that out later. All right. Okay, I'm going to stop the camera now and give that about five minutes and we'll finish the recording. We are now going to hose off the soap. Let's check it out. Let's hope for the best, everybody. Pretty good. A real abstract painting, y'all. And any color that you prefer, or any design you want to do. Maybe you just want a heart, or you want to say I love you or something. All right. Let me get a towel and dry that off, and we'll look at the finished product. Okay, here's the finished product, you guys. I wiped it down with the paper towel. You can see it's uh, so shiny because I used the glossy spray paint. Try to get a better angle here. There we go. All right, everyone. And I just might put resin over this and give it to my son for his room. <laughs> it was really fun to paint really abstract okay let's get in here and take a look up here all right everyone have fun spray painting thank you for watching